We should strengthen the G20 as the premier forum for global economic governance, engage in closer macroeconomic policy coordination, and keep the global industrial and supply chains stable and open. We should ensure the sound operation of the global financial system, promote structural reform, and expand global aggregate demand in an effort to strive for higher quality and stronger resilience in global economic development. Second, we should stay committed to international law and international rules instead of seeking one's own supremacy. Ancient Chinese believed that the law is the very foundation of governance. International governance should be based on the rules and consensus reached among us, not on the order given by one or the few. The Charter of the United Nations is a basic and universally recognized norms governing state-to-state -state relations. Without international law and international rules that are formed and recognized by the global community, the world may fall back to the law of the jungle, and the consequence would be devastating for humanity.